I want to talk about um, that thing I was talking about, about meditating, about animals, uh, like acknowledging my presence really oddly and from really long distances away. Uh, today, two, uh, I think they were just stray dogs. They just came out of like these bushes and they started uh, ch like running after me kind of. But when wild dogs do it, um, you know, obviously they're not on leashes. It's not the first time it's happened in Texas to me. Uh, when they, they're pretty aggressive. They're way more aggressive than household dogs, like, you know, pet dogs. But I mean, they're not bigger than me. So when they come up to me, they'll, <coughs> I kind of give, <coughs> I kind of give them a stare down. I'll get real close and then if I give them a stare down and just show them that I'm aware that they're right there they kind of stop in their tracks um I've had one that like it wasn't this time it was the other time um I don't give a fuck what people think about this this shit happens and I have to fucking figure out why it happens I think it's because I meditate a lot um as science develops and People understand meditation. People understand accessing higher frequencies of brain waves because that all that information is on the internet. You just have to do the research and educate yourself. Um, but basically, like the other time, a stray dog. Um, when I first, like before I got the motel, when I was like walking, I think the first time I walked to the van after I uh, moved into this lot. A stray dog like got really close and ultra aggressive and he started staring at my ankles and he started like he's showing his teeth so i did the same goddamn fucking thing i just showed my teeth bigger and more and i got big and i fucking growled right back at him and i told him to back the fuck up literally in person and he fucking he backed the fuck up two stray dogs that weren't as aggressive they kind of ran at me they didn't get super close and they're like five feet away and I did the same fucking thing. I showed my teeth. I growled right back at them. And I said, try me. And they didn't fucking try me because they're pretty smart. <laughs> they can read a, they can read a situation like that because they're dogs. Um, animals are a lot smarter than humans in a lot of ways. That's for sure. Um, but like, and then a uh, completely different time when I was like closer to the end of the day. That was when I was going into town. And today when I was going back to my van after I went into town and I got food and I tried to do Uber Eats and it failed me miserably. I'll talk about that later. Um, basically like, there was like police stopped with, well, there must've been an accident or something. There were a bunch of police cars, a bunch of police cars. And there was like a couple cars like parked on the side i didn't really look to see what was going on because after the dog did what it did i just said uh you know said hi to people over there said hi to the police officer and i was trying to get to the van because it was fucking 99 today um but like before i was anywhere really near where the cars were lined up with the police cars and stuff um i was maybe like blocks in texas are pretty big um, I was like three or four blocks away. I couldn't see the dog and the dog couldn't see me. And with all the commotion going on, the dog picked me out from three to four blocks away and started barking like a fucking, like, it just wouldn't stop barking. And people started yelling at the dog. The police officer was literally like, get your dog, get your dog. And I hear this from three blocks away. And I knew when the dog was barking that he was barking at me. And the people are trying to figure out who the dog is barking. We're trying to figure out who the dog was barking at because literally there was like nothing there because i was literally three or four blocks away and as soon as i hear dogs barking now i know like different dogs barked as i continued to move after that different dogs in different backyards couldn't see me every time i pass they bark um but like this dog ran from three blocks away started barking ran all the way down the street the neighbors chasing after the dog wondering what the hell it's running after it was running after me on my scooter as i'm like coming up to it it like runs up to me like i'm like something like important or something and then it gets close and it was like kind of hesitant to get close to me and i literally told the owners of the dog that were running after it like this happens all the time i met all i said was i meditate a lot and i just kept going and i said what's up to the cop and said drink you know drink water stay hydrated because like it's fucking 99 um but this happens 
regular it happens regularly and my reasoning is because i meditate more than most people and my you know i there's like a higher freak i think my brain's at a higher frequency normally that's my honest opinion and meditating does put your brain at a higher frequency people who don't like to hear this you know they don't i don't know like not everyone's fucking equal and not everybody does the same shit every day and that's literally like what separates people from different people and i meditate regularly so that's what it does that's science look it up you don't want to listen to me too bad <laughs> talking about trying to do uber eats today obviously it's not the most efficient on foot i mean if you get shorter uh deliveries it's it's manageable but um between it being as inefficient on foot as it is and their customer service being absolutely atrocious and they obviously put emphasis on other things and put their customer service way at the bottom of their list of priorities um yeah I get, i'm gonna get a job i'm gonna probably look tomorrow texas tire across the street from my van kind of offered me a job um when they towed my van from the front of the property it's at to the back of the property um so i'm gonna start there because it's literally such a short distance and for me traveling is like when you don't have a car and traveling is that's the biggest deal um salvation army is the next one down the list and that's like almost two miles away from my van so if I have money as i can and fix the van so so it's going to be done if i can work at texas tire in the summer texas heat and only have to walk across the street or you know if i'm not not really i'm not supposed to stay in the van um but some nights you know uh like tonight i'm fucking made it back i'm tired you know i'm gonna fucking stay in the van um but i'm not i'm not really supposed to stay in the van every night really at all um so like other nights i'll probably set up camp as close to wherever i get a job as i can limit my travel distance and start saving money to get the van on the road hopefully my tax return comes in soon i can fix the van right away if that happens um or i get some corona virus covid stimulus check or get another, another stimulus check that would be awesome and i'd be able to fix the van probably um but yeah otherwise i gotta rely on myself